most of us will never have an opportunity to practice an emergency evacuation. But our behavior in those desperate few moments could be crucial. In over 90% of accidents, some or all of the passengers and crew do survive. And what you know and how you behave will make a difference. Professor Helen Muir is one of the world's leading experts in evacuation behavior. She has carried out hundreds of simulated plane evacuations. Over the last 10 years, she has developed a unique way of studying how people behave during a life-threatening situation. One of the challenges when you're trying to design uh, a study to look at what will happen in an actual emergency is how to design it and make it as realistic as possible without actually putting people at physical or mental risk. If you tell people just to get out as quickly as they can, they come out in straight lines like at school. Now, they don't do this in accidents when there's a life threat. They rush for exits and try to get out as quickly as they can. So to persuade them to do that, we offer a five pound incentive payment to the first half out. And that makes everybody rush for exits just like they do in an emergency. With only five pounds on offer, the passengers behaved as if they were in a life-threatening situation. Under your seatbelt and get out. Now you can see a group of people who are being paid the bonuses, so they try to get out as quickly as they can, ahead of each other if necessary, and you can see how this leads to congestion. And this is what it's like in the cabin when everybody's trying to desperately get out ahead of each other. And the interesting thing is that although this is a test, we've had survivors from accidents who've seen this footage and said, yeah, that's how it was. By studying these simulated evacuations and talking to survivors, Helen has discovered that there is a simple thing you can do to improve your chances of surviving a crash. We have learnt that the people who survive accidents are the people who have got a plan, who know where they're going to go, who look for instructions from the cabin crew and do what they're told or enact their plan. So before your plane takes off, you should think the unthinkable. Plan exactly what you would do if you had to evacuate in an emergency. But planning an evacuation can be complicated if you're traveling in a group. I think when families are traveling, obviously the first thing they want to try and do is to book seats together so they can all sit together. In an evacuation, groups can get split up and trying to find each other could endanger every passenger's life. Although the natural instinct is to want to find each other, the best thing they can do is actually all get out wherever they can and meet up afterwards. Because one of the things that can cause a problem is if people come against the direction which other people are trying to get out, because it's just like a one-way street. You only want one car to come in the wrong direction and the whole thing seizes up. And the same thing can happen on an aircraft if passengers try and go in the opposite direction. It just slows the whole thing down. As hard as it may be, the best solution for making sure that everyone in your group gets off alive is to resist instinct and agree in advance to go your separate ways. 